Hey guys, what is going on? It's Minitef, and today I'm coming at you with a Minecraft tutorial. This week we are going to be showing you how to install the single player commands mod. So I've had a lot of requests for mod installation tutorials, and why not start off with one of the best ones out there. Single player commands! This mod features single player commands. Wow, who would have guessed it? But anyway, I'm going to be showing you guys how to install it. So there are two ways of installing this mod. There is the manual installation and the automated version. They both have their own perks, but I would say choose your easiest method. The automated version is probably the easiest, but if that doesn't work, you can try the manual installation. I've already got them both downloaded. Okay, so now we're gonna go with the automatic installation. We're gonna go ahead and open up the jar file that came with it. Okay, so we should come up with something that looks like this. And we're gonna need to uncheck backup minecraft.jar because I don't know even where this backs it up to but we already have a backup of everything right here. So what we're gonna need to do is click browse or just click on it and you should be greeted with your username. Then go to library, application support, and find Minecraft. It's kinda of hard to find it with all this mess of stuff but it is in there. Trust me, you can find it. And then, um, yeah, once you're in Minecraft, press open. So make sure this says username, library, application support, Minecraft. Nothing after that, it ends at Minecraft. And then just click install. And that was really fast. So uh, now we can close it and open up Minecraft and give it a test. So we're gonna need to go into the finder and go to our library. If you don't have library here, you need to watch my video on how to get it there. So I have an annotation on the screen right here, right there. And then a link in the description. And so yeah, so open that up and go to application support and I'm talking really fast. <sighs> then you're gonna need to go to Minecraft. And before we go anywhere, before we do anything with this, we're gonna need to back this up. And backing this up is if we do any errors, then we can just go back to this and replace this Minecraft folder and we'll be back to where we were before, nothing happened. So just go ahead to back it up, copy the Minecraft folder, and paste it somewhere where you know where it is. For my mod installations, I usually just back it up on the desktop, and if it works, I just delete the backup because I don't need it anymore. But anyway, we're just going to put it on the desktop and give it five more seconds. All right, so we have a successful backup. This includes your world saves, everything, your texture packs, everything. So keep that safe. So then go into your Minecraft folder. Voila! Look at that. Single player commands 3.2.2 has been installed. And, you know, we can test it. It works slash fly aha uh -huh. and yeah it works pretty well so now we're going to move on with the manual installation a little bit more difficult but it's still pretty easy all right so now we're going to cover the manual installation so we are already in our minecraft folder so if you haven't gotten to this part if you skipped ahead go back we already backed up the minecraft folder and we've already gotten to the minecraft folder so we're going to go ahead and open up our single player commands manual installation and we don't need this readme just delete it I would read it first, but I'm kind of going to explain part of it. So, according to the page, we are going to need to put in the bin folder. We're going to need to put in any jar files directly in the root of the bin folder. So what that means is find any jar files in here. Currently, there's only one. I can only find one, and that is worldedit.jar. So what we're going to have to do is drag the .jar right into the bin folder. That's it. Then. Make sure your version has no other jar files. Mine doesn't, but if yours does, make sure you do that. Then we're going to need to port all of these guys into here. So we need to get this into an editable format. I have a video on it. If you want to see it, there is an annotation on the screen. Also, there is a link in the description, so you can choose your preferred method of, of choice. Yeah, do that. Then you're going to go ahead and open with the unarchiver. And ba-boom. So we should be left with a Minecraft folder inside the Minecraft folder, inside the bin. And then we're going to need to rename this Minecraft.jar. What this does is it creates it the same recognizable format by the game, but we are allowed to edit it just like a folder. So then we're going to go in here and we are going to select all of the files, and we're going to put them straight into the Minecraft.jar. And we're going to replace. Done. And according to the page, we need to delete the um, mojang underscore c files inside here, but I can't seem to find that. And also, if it doesn't work, I'm skipping ahead, 
then try deleting the meta imp folder. So see if that works for you. So we're going to go ahead and give it a test and we will see. Looks like we have a success number two. Yeah, look at that. Yep, it works. All right, I just want to thank you guys for watching this video. And uh, yeah, if you would like to see any more videos, you can click on the video links at the end of this video. I will also try to remember to put the links in the description. I like having all the stuff in the description too for all you mobile users out there because I know there's a lot of mobile people. You guys are just always on the move, man. More than me. I just I just sit in this room. Well, well anyway, bye, bye. Okay, on screen we have two videos. On the left is how to make a Minecraft server. This is a very simple and easy to follow tutorial on just making a Minecraft server. So if you want to play with your friends or someone even across the universe, if you want to interact with someone far away, then you can do it over Minecraft. And on the right, we have how to install an HD texture pack. This is also a McPatcher tutorial. So if you want to install an HD texture pack, this is your video for you. So it's your lucky day. Goodbye.